Hey everybody, this is Jamie Swanson and Donna McDonald, and we are bringing to you a Cook with Pampered Chef um, cooking series. So we wanted to share tonight five appetizers that you can make in 15 minutes. So we have some great treats for you that you might be able to make over the next couple of weeks, whether you're entertaining at home or you're getting together as a small group. So Donna, I'm gonna let you get us started. Okay, we're gonna get started with the pepper pecan brie. Say that fast a few times. So now don't worry about recipes. Um, your consultant is going to share the recipes with you. So just kind of enjoy our technique. We've taken a um, wheel of brie and you're gonna split it in half. I'm using our chef knife to do that. And then we're gonna take a mixture. Now the recipe is gonna call for an apricot jam. I'm actually doing a strawberry jam that I prepared in our cooking blender. So let's go ahead and get this our jam together and we're going to mix it up with our habanero as well as some of our pecans. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab our measure all cups. See paper chef's all about family. Hold on, let me grab my bowl. It's all about family and even our measuring cups come in family. This is mom, this is dad, this is mom, and this is the baby, okay? So we need to measure out a quarter of a cup of the jam. So we're going to go ahead and grab out our spatula. And this is our little baby spatula here. And we're gonna put our jam right into our measuring cup. And this is great for sticky, gooey ingredients like peanut butter, mayonnaise, um, Crisco. You're gonna just go ahead and just eject that out and then scrape along the top. You're gonna to use this for your um, solid ingredients on the top and then you're gonna use your blue line for your liquid. So I re always remember blue water so you know what side to measure from. So let's go ahead and put that aside. Let's go ahead, and go ahead and get our habanero ready. Now, what a lot of people don't realize about a habanero pepper, it's not only the seeds that are spicy, it's also the membranes. So you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and make sure that you take those membranes out. This is our, Jamie, what is this? Our scoop and the core and more. Core and more, thank you, thank you. Forgot what that was called for a minute. So the core and more is gonna help me get all those seeds in the membrane out. And then this part you would use if you wanted to make melon balls and uh, even getting these seeds out of your cantaloupe. So let's go ahead and move this aside here real quick. And what we'll do is we're gonna take our food chopper and we're gonna chop up this jalapeno pepper. It's a little bit smaller. Now, if you notice, now just go ahead. Food chopper, it's our frustration tool. If you had a bad day, this is the tool that you need, okay? Chops in a rotation, chops up and down, so everything will chop evenly. The more you chop, the finer that it becomes. The only one that you're gonna find on the market that has the actual seal in here so the food won't get caught up on the inside. All right, so let's go ahead and put our peppers right into our sauce and we're going to mix that around okay so this is the idea of this is you know what don't make entertaining stressful make it easy and these are things that you can actually prepare ahead of time so we're going to get our little mini cast iron is this just not the cutest thing ever <laughs> we're going to put our bottom of our brie right in there and then i'm going to go ahead and chop up some nuts and I'm using our cutting board here that if you're a baker, you'll love the cutting boards because when you put them in the freezer, they're gonna take on a marble-like quality and nothing will stick to it. All right, let's go ahead and sprinkle some pecans on there, put the top on, put the rest right on top of that. All right, and a few more nuts. All right, now I'm gonna throw this into the air fryer and we're gonna cook this in the air fryer for about eight minutes. If you have not seen our air fryer yet, this is, because we always know that paper shop products are like the best on the market and everything's on steroids. So look at the capacity of this air fryer. We're gonna go ahead and do it at bake. I actually have it at eight minutes. Hold on, I'll cancel that. Um, but we're gonna, there we go. And it's not cooperating. <laughs> but we're gonna put it on eight minutes at bake. While I'm playing with that, I'm gonna turn it right over to Jamie. You take it away, girl. Awesome. All right, so the, um, the next appetizer that I'm gonna share with you is a veggie quesadilla cup. 
So everybody like saw petite things. Um, you can do this in like a mini muffin pan, but I'm actually gonna do some brownie pan. So this is gonna be like a, a second dinner for my family. So, or at least some of us. All right, so what I did was I took an eight, like an eight inch tortilla um, and then I would have normally stacked all three of these. So you would need three. And then I'm just gonna use our pizza cutter. If you don't have the pizza cutter, this is great for things other than pizza, that's for sure. So I just took the little strips off. So it was cute. My eight-year-old was like, oh, are we having cinnamon chips? So with all of our leftovers, I'll just make some cinnamon chips for a little, little snack for them. So you've got the square, and then I'm just going to cut it um, two more times to have the individual little squares. Now, um, before I put this in the brownie pan, because I am going to use cheese and some other things, I am going to squirt it with the kitchen spritzer. So you just put your favorite type of oil in there and you spray away so you get the um, aerosol effect without the harmful chemicals of the aerosol and then you're you're just way more bang for your buck so just put that right in there all right so i'm just gonna push these and i'll, I'll show you once we get it in there now the nice thing about this recipe is if this is a vegetarian or just veggies but you can add some bacon or ham um, whatever extra ingredient that you wanted to make it work for your family. So we're going to have 12 individual um, portions there. All right, so the next thing that um, this recipe calls for is a bell pepper. So I'm going to take this off. Now, this is a common mistake that I see people do. Um, I see them cut the top off and then just toss this part. There is plenty of good um, usable material in there. So we're going to um, just take the stem out and, um, and then use that in just a second. Now, this is a very handy dandy tool. It's called the scoop loop. So what I'm going to do is put, um, just put the scoop loop right in there. And it's also going to take out those seeds and veins like Donna mentioned. So that was, I used the larger end for the, this bell pepper. And then for the smaller, uh, the smaller end, I'm going to do the same thing with the jalapeno pepper that Donna did with the core and more. So I'll take, take those out. All right, so I am going to take the manual food processor, which is kind of like the, the big brother to the um, food chopper that Donna was just using. And we're going to chop up the um, jalapeno pepper and then the red pepper as well. So with this, you've got the um, three little blades that are offset. So not only will it chop, but it will mix as well. So oh, pepper down, pepper down. This stuff happens in your kitchen too, I bet. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put those in there. And just like Donna mentioned, line that up. Um, just like Donna mentioned, this depending on how coarse or how fine you want it, will depend on the number of times that you pull. Want it nice and uh, nice and chopped up. So I'll do just a few more. And Donna and I both have three boys. So there's, you know, I'm sure over the years between the two of us, there's been a lot of chopping done um, that reduced it to a great amount of stress. Right, so now I'm going to um, put that mixture right in our stainless steel mixing bowl. Hey, if you're still looking for an idea of something to add to your Christmas list so your family will know these stainless steel mixing bowls are just a treat. So um, grab some of those today, add them to your list. All right, so this was just a small pan of um, black olives. So I did drain them using the easy read measuring colander. You guys, I love this and use it all the time for things like olives, black beans, and berries. If you've got a divider between your sink, you can let it hang on there. Um, it does have a three cup capacity, so you don't have to, to um, drain and then measure otherwise. So I'm just gonna, gonna mix that in. And then I'm gonna put um, two ounces of shredded Colby Jack tea. So I just pre-shredded that and then we'll save the rest for the topping. All right, so oh, this is looking so good, and it's very festive. I'm not sure if you can see, but it's very colorful, and um, so this is going to be great for the season. All right, the next, the seasoning that's going to go in there is the um, our chipotle rub. So um, I'm going to use our um, adjustable measuring spoon, and these are actually one of the items that you can get three for 25. So these are fantastic stocking stuffers. Um, so if you've got a group gift for the office, um, that would be that would be fantastic. One ingredient that I forgot that I'll have to add back in there, but it's going to be no problem. All right, so we're going to do some, what did I do with, uh, there it is. 
Um, I'm going to do some green onion now. I'm going to break that green onion and then just give it a chop. It matters. Line it up matters. All right, and easy peasy. So we are done. So really now all I have to do is I um, just use our medium scoop to add it to our little quesadilla cup. And then it's just gonna take, I think about 10, about 10 minutes to, to cook in the oven. So um, we will carry on with our other recipes. So I wanna show you real quick how that mixture looks. And then I'll just um, scoop a couple of these um, so you can see how pretty. There you go. So we'll top it with a little bit of cheese. All right, Donna, I'm going to let you move on to your next one as I set up for mine. Okay, great. Thanks, Jamie. Okay, so the next recipe that we're going to prepare for you is the three minute dip. And there are a variety of options. So when your consultant gives you the recipe, you're going to see that you can use many of our seasonings, the herb um, and pepper seasoning. There's a Greek, there's a sweet basil. There's the free onion and the herb and onion slow cooker. So it's a basic recipe that you just add different seasonings to. So I'm going to do the three onion. So what I have here is our, our a micro cooker. I put an eight ounce cream cheese in there. I put in two tablespoons of milk and I'm going to put in a quarter of a cup of mozzarella cheese. Um, we're big advocates of grating cheese fresh because there's nothing better than fresh cheese. Bag cheese has lots of ingredients that you can't even pronounce. So why would you want to eat them, okay? So I went ahead and I bought the block of cheese. Um, I'm going to use um, my scale. I love this scale. If you're a baker, you know that um, with baking, it's weight that will give you a great result on baking. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm take, I took a big piece of the cheese and I measured out, um, weighed out for the quarter of a cup. And I use our coarse grater. I love the coarse grater because you can use it flat as well as standing it up the way that you were to use a box grater. Gets down to the small pieces. You're gonna go ahead and use your, your uh, food holder because we do not want to ruin our manicures, correct? All right, so we're gonna go ahead. I'm go I have the cream cheese in here, the milk in here already, and I'm gonna add in the mozzarella cheese and I'm gonna add two tablespoons of the uh, three onion. Now, these measuring spoon sets come apart. These are the type of measuring spoons that, again, you would use for your baking. And if you are interested in baking, we have, um, maybe you're interested, but you really have never baked before, you're gonna wanna come back and watch our presentation on baking for dummies. It's not that you're foolish, but that it's a great way to get started. So this is a complete series, remember, that we're gonna be doing for you. We're gonna have kids in the kitchen, we have live enough lunch. So uh, make sure that you're getting these links from your consultant so you won't miss any of the fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this into the microwave and I'm gonna melt this up for a few minutes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put it into our cast iron because it's all presentation. You see on my little, uh, my charcuterie tray here. I put a little napkin on the top to pop, to give it a pop of color. I'm going to put the two cast iron, which gives it a little bit more of a rustic appeal to it. I've cut up some green peppers, some tomatoes. Um, I'm also cutting up some um, carrots. Now I use our vegetable peeler for our carrots, and then I use our garnisher to go ahead and cut our carrots on an angle. So it's like a nice one scoop piece. You ready for the next one, Amy? Jamie? I sure is. All right. So so I'm going to do two back to back that are so simple. You are going to love it. You're just going to be wowed at how easy these are. So let's start with um, our the raspberry habanero um, sauce. So it's very, just very good. Um, and then we're just going to do a block of cream cheese. So this is an ideal um, sauce just to keep in your refrigerator in the event that you have a um, company that stops by at the last minute or you're just looking for a no fuss recipe to make. Um, this raspberry habanero is awesome on chicken, um, pork, you can do it with meatballs, all sorts of things. Well, since we're going into our Christmas season, what I'm gonna do is just take one block of cream cheese that I didn't soften. We needed it a little on the firmer side, and then I'm just gonna cut it at, um, just a, as, a di like a, um, as a diagonal, okay? 
I didn't cut it exactly perfect um, because that that just would not be me. But we've got we've got the shape of a tree. Now, what I've got it on here is our lazy season. So perfect for I'm um, doing charcuterie. You can do centerpieces. Um, but this is going to be really really cute. Now, of course, I had to find a trisket or something to put at the bottom to make it very Christmas tree like. So you see that very cool. And then all I'm going to do now is just give this raspberry habanero. Um, a nice little shake, and then I'm just going to drizzle that over the top. Now, my husband and I love this for an after um, the kids are in bed snack. Um, so it's just a wonderful, wonderful little appetizer um, that we love to do. Let me just kind of spread that out a little bit more. And it's basically like a pepper jelly. Now, we're not going to um, necessarily need the crackers on here tonight. But when you take it to your event, look, there's your there's your Christmas tree and then your crackers or, um, you know, your, your veggies, whatever you're going to put on there can be around it. All right. The final thing that I'm going to share with you is actually is a recipe that my mom um, loved. So it's not a paper chef recipe, but I think you're going to be able to remember it. So I did two bars of cream cheese. And here's a fun little quick tip for you. If your oven is already preheating for something else, just stick your bars of cream cheese in there for just a couple of minutes. It will soften it beautifully and it doesn't pop all over your microwave. So all I did was took two um, softened um, bars of cream cheese and then probably, I'm not a measurer, um, I'm not much of a baker, so um, I just kind of do things by just by sight. But we'll say that um, two bars of cream cheese and a cup of um, green olives. So it's just some green olives and like Donna, I'm gonna use this it a little bit smaller. All right, I'm going to toss that in there. All right, so I'm just going to give that a nice little little mix there. This is a small batter bowl and you're going to see this um, later this week in one of our DIY gift um, idea um, in, in the series. So you're going to love that. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm just going to plop it on a piece of saran wrap and then make make a little little ball okay so i'm just gonna burn that up now i've got two other ones done already so i'm just gonna do another another little platter here and so i've got them the goal was to have them in three different sizes to make a snowman so we're basically making a cheese ball um, in the shape of a snowman to keep our holiday entertaining festive all right so we'll do the second one and this is really nice when it can firm up overnight um, in your saran wrap um, to give it some, some good, good shape. All right, that head may need a little bit of construction, but we'll, you guys get that idea. All right, so here's the fun part. So that took no time at all. So now we need to accessorize. You see my little snowman? So we're gonna accessorize him. So I took Slim Jim. I usually, usually what I do, is um, pretzels, but I didn't have any pretzels. So I'm just gonna cut a Slim Jim and that snowman's gonna have some arms. I reserved some of the um, black olives and we're gonna give him some buttons on his chest. And um, we're gonna give him green eyes because that kind of works in my family. And remember that bell pepper that I wouldn't let you throw away while ago? We're gonna give him a cute little mouth. I think that might be a little big. Now I've got to figure out what kind of um, hat to give him but how adorable is that? Our little Frosty the Snowman, cream cheese and olive um, cheese ball. So cute, Jamie, that's strong. You can even do that as a wreath, I imagine. Absolutely, absolutely. You could do it in a number of ways. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and finish up our dip. We're gonna add on, which we know there's never too much bacon, right? So um, what I did was I, I cooked the bacon in one of our nonstick stainless steel skillets. I love stainless, and this just brings it to a new level when you're making it nonstick. So here we go, we've got our bacon on there, and then this recipe is done. And again, how beautiful that it looks using the charcuterie tray. So we brought it right to the next level. So Jamie, is there anything else we wanted to share? No, I think just contact the consultant that invited you to this event. Ask for their shopping link if you see something and make sure you join us again between now and Saturday. We've got lots of fun ideas um, just to, to share with you. Right, so we'd love to have you come back and remember, reach out to your consultants, get that link, 
or you know what get everything free have a party of your own thanks so much for joining us for five appetizers in 15 minutes thanks jamie so appreciate it, it was fun you too bye donna bye bye